The given augmented matrices represent linear systems of equations. Using the variables x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and so on, identify the basic variables, also referred to as the leading variables, and the free variables. We begin by determining the pivots. A pivot in a matrix is the first non-zero entry of each row when the matrix is in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. So looking at the first augmented matrix, we have two pivots. We have a pivot in row one, column one, as well as row two, column three. And therefore the pivot columns are column one and column three. And now we have the information we need to identify the basic variables as well as the free variables. A basic variable or leading variable is a variable that corresponds to a column with a pivot when the matrix is in row echelon form. Column one is the X sub one column. Column two is the X sub two column. Column three is the X sub three column. And the fourth column is the constant column. And because the pivot columns are column one and column three, X sub one and X sub three are the basic or leading variables. A free variable is a variable that does not correspond to a column with a pivot when the matrix is in row echelon form. And therefore X sub two is a free variable. And now let's take a look at the second example. We begin by determining the pivots, which again are the first non-zero entries of each row since the given augmented matrix is in reduced row echelon form. We have a pivot in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column four. Now let's go ahead and label our columns x sub one through x sub five. Because we know this is a system of equations, we know the rightmost column represents the constants on the right side of each equation. Notice the pivot columns are column one, column two, and column four, and therefore the basic variables or leading variables are x sub one, x sub two, and x sub four. And the other variables, x sub three and x sub five, are the free variables. I hope you found this helpful.